What's going on guys, OddBitMC, back at you with another episode of Today in Minecraft, and today we're going to take a look at the Skulk Sensor from the 1.17 Minecraft Live update. Up first we have the Skulk Growth, which looks like kind of like a black moss sitting on top of those grass blocks. They are transparent, so we can see through them and what block they are on top of, and they generate in the deep, dark cave biome in the 1.17 update. They seem to behave a little bit like snow or even like carpet. Up next we have the skulk sensor which is going to be the main topic for this video. It generates also in the deep dark cave biome. It can be used for wireless redstone which we're going to take a look at and it senses block placement footsteps and projectiles. Wool can be uh, used around it to dull the sense around it so it doesn't pick up the sound waves but it can also be used with a piston to create a wireless redstone clock. And as you can see when it picks up that sense it does emit a particle. The other blocks featured in this little update are the skulk block, which kind of look a little bit like obsidian blocks, which is a different texture, and what is being called the skulk shoot. That is its unofficial name on the Minecraft uh, Wikipedia, so please don't take that as legit fact. Now, if you're yelling at the screen right now, I know I'm not in 1.17. I'm still in 1.16, but I am in 1.16.2. Three, because I have a data pack installed that lets us use a version of this that someone has created. I can't remember the guy's name off the top of my head, but I'm going to link him down in the description. So if you want this data pack to mess around with it and maybe get your own ideas, go ahead and go download it. It's right down below. I can attest that it's 100% safe. I have not had any issues and I've been playing around with it probably for about an hour. So like I said, this is a data pack. I do not know 100% if this is going to be a craftable block or if this is something we just have to harvest and we can grow it. I don't know, because not a lot of details have come out about it yet. But in this data pack, you're going to need three stone, a repeater, and two ender pearls. This is how you're going to craft it. You're gonna put the three stone on the bottom of the crafting table. Repeater is gonna go right there in the middle and then the ender pearls are gonna go on each side and you're going to get the skulk sensor now you can see it doesn't look a hundred percent like what it does in the 1.17 update but it does look very similar and you can see that we do get some of the animations and those sounds those really cool sounds from it and i'm really excited to see what more we can do now, like I did say, again, it is a data pack, so I think this does have some limitations, but we're going to explore it a little bit and find out what those limitations are. Um, and I'm hoping you guys enjoy the video. One thing I am noticing with this data pack is that uh, he used item frames kind of as the basis. So there is a certain range from where the sounds will be picked up. And if you get close enough, that's where it's setting it off. And you might have a hard time like clicking on certain spots like I'm trying to click right on this block right here and I can't because there's an item frame there that's taking up that space but if I get closer enough and I can see the black outline that you can see there you will be able to place the block down. Now when I first saw the skulk sensor in the Minecraft live uh, live stream I my first thought was wireless redstone that could open my door so if I walk close to here you're gonna see it pick up that sound sensor and it sends it to another skulk sensor which triggers this redstone line and then triggers that. So again, since it's using the uh, trap doors, it's kind of just sporadic. I don't know how uh, much that's going to happen, but if I wanted to, I could easily block that off with some wool. And I believe that does work here in this data pack. So if I want it to, it will only work from this. There we go. I don't think it'll trigger over here. Nope, it will not. So the wool blocks will stop it. And if I don't want anything else to trigger it from these sides, I can do that. But it will trigger through the stone. So this is just, again, a very simple setup, but something that could be really useful in, say, traps if you have a fake base or something like that. One thing I'm also seeing is that if you put them too close to each other, they kind of go through this infinite loop of just sending a signal back and forth, which, you know, it could be really cool. It could be something you could use for aesthetics, but... Other than that, the sound just kind of gets a little annoying after a while. Now, if you're into playing games with your server mates or your friends on a world that you're playing, these would be great to signify when somebody is getting close or making noise. Because if you get closer to one of these or if they break something, it can be tr used to trigger redstone and then admit a firework or even a note block to signify that someone is nearby. 
Now, I'm not a redstone guy, I mainly like to build, but I do like playing with redstone from time to time because you can make interesting things. Now, if you really needed items dispensed quickly, you could hook it up to a pressure plate, but you could also use this sensor, and if it's triggered by sound, it would send it through the two droppers and you'd get your items really quickly. So, again, this could be used for mini games of some sort. Uh, I don't know, that's kind of where I'm leaning towards is mini games a lot. I think this is a really cool component just for that aspect of Minecraft. So like I said, this data pack does have its you know, disadvantages because it's not the full 1.17 update and we don't really know everything that this block is gonna do. But one idea I had was hooking it up to a repeater going into a dispenser that's just shooting arrows because then if you have a constant sound of noise from chickens, or even just the door opening up and opening up and closing. I'm gonna break that because that's annoying. Um, you would constantly get sound going to there that would constantly kill chickens. So it would just be an infinite farm, just constantly going in a circle. So that would be a really cool idea. I'm kind of disappointed that this data pack doesn't pick up the sound from uh, these guys only when you place them or if you break them within a certain area. I thought they would pick up the sound a little bit better. But this was just another idea. So guys, let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought. If you didn't like any of these inventions and you said, hey, your ideas are dumb, that's perfectly fine. Please let me know, I'd like to know. Again, I'm not a redstone person, but the idea of wireless redstone sounds really interesting and I could bet the technical community is going to get so much from this block when it does come out. This was mainly for me to just show you this data pack that I found and I thought you could get some really good use out of it so go ahead and play with it and comment down below what are some ideas that you have for using this wireless redstone i want to know because i think it'd be really cool if we could you know just talk and chat and share ideas that's what i love about this community so much that we can just share ideas and it just grows and grows and we just have so much fun playing this game that we love very dearly all right guys that is all the time i have for you today if you like the video hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and always hit that bell so you know when I'm uploading content. Videos come out every Monday and Wednesday. Wednesday is my Let's Play series and Mondays tend to be either a tutorial or just a little bit of something like this. So always remember guys the most important thing is to be odd and wash your hands. Peace guys.